This weekend, a historical foundation is celebrating the recovery of a World War II airplane that crashed in South Carolina in 1944. Andrew Fancher has more. Well, the whole Midlands, the whole state, they know this airplane. They love the story. Kids love the story about it being underwater for 40 years, and now it looks like this. Kenneth Berry is president of the South Carolina Historic Aviation Foundation, or SHAFE, a nonprofit built around the restoration of a rare B-25 medium bomber manufactured and sent to South Carolina in December of 1942. If you take a look at our B-25, I'd compare it against anyone in the world as far as a B-25C, as far as being complete and accurate. Parts we can't buy, we fabricate them to factory standards. Referred to unofficially as Skunky, the aircraft took its final flight during a low-altitude training exercise on D-Day, June 6, 1944. Everyone survived the crash that landed Skunky a 40-year sentence at the bottom of Lake Greenwood. Come 1983, the dual-engine bomber was resurrected from the depths by a Naval Reserve dive team, which included now-retired Commander Chuck Messick. The aircraft was only in 40 foot of water, so relatively speaking, fairly shallow, in very good condition for what it was. It wasn't sunk too far in the mud. There was kind of some trees there, as I understand it, so it wasn't sunk down. This is how Skunky looked when Messick and his dive team surfaced her for the first time in four decades. And this is what the Shafe volunteers have already accomplished since buying the airplane outright in 2011. But to be here 40 years later is really amazing. We are so honored that a foundation, the South Carolina Historic Aviation Foundation, took possession of her and is restoring it. The foundation's kind of taken a life of its own. Um, we've, we're kind of a fledgling aviation museum, and so that's our goal now, is to um, tell young people about the past, the present, and also what they can do in the future. Now, tomorrow, Shafe is going to host a special open house to celebrate the recovery. They're going to be holding it at the Jim Hamilton Owensfield Airport in downtown Columbia. Members of the original dive team will be there as well.